Okay, I'm in the introduction. The main focus of CLI SAPI is for developing shell applications with PHP. There are quite a few differences between the CLI SAPI and other SAPIs which are explained in this chapter. Actually, I don't know what other SAPIs. I think like a bash, the bash environment is another SAPI. Anyways, the main one we're comparing it to in this video is the CGI version of PHP. It is worth mentioning that CLI and CGI are different SAPIs, although they do share many of the same behaviors. What SAPI do I have? From a shell, typing PHP V will tell you whether PHP is CGI or CLI. I don't know why they are bugging too much about this, because if you're at the shell and it should say CLI. I'll show you. Okay, it says CLI. By the way, there is a man page for PHP. Man PHP. Okay? I didn't find it very useful though. I'll hit the back button and move on to differences to other SAPIs. Unlike the CGI SAPI, no headers are written to the output. Okay, compared to other SAPIs besides the CGI one, it does not change the working directory to that of the script. So, if you're using a relative path within the script, it's not going to be relative to the directory that the script is actually living in. It's going to have plain text error messages, no HTML formatting. And that would be compared this to the CGI SAPI, not necessarily compared to other SAPIs like Bash. There are certain PHP.ini directives which are overridden by the CLI SAPI because they do not make sense in shell environments. And here's a table that contains some of those PHP INI directives. Let me go over some of these. I think I already mentioned HTML errors is going to be false for the CLI. Implicit flush to true. In other words, there's no buffering. Um, you know, it's implicit. The flush is implicit or something. Max execution time. The script in CLI can wait forever. It doesn't max out when it's waiting to 30 seconds or 60 seconds as it does with a web server by default. Register arg c and arg v to true. That's obvious because you're going to need those. You're going to need to be able to find out about the arguments. Output buffering false. Max input time. I guess what that, okay, what it's saying about that, even though I don't see the relationship, is that PHP CLI does not support get, post, or file uploads. These directives cannot be initialized with other values from the configuration file php.ini, or a custom one if specified. This limitation is because the values are applied after all configuration files have been parsed. However, their values can be changed during runtime, in other words, within the script, although this is not sensible for all of them. It is recommended to set the ignore user abort directive for command line scripts. In other words, you should be aware of whether you want to be setting it to true or false or something. See ignore user abort for more information. Ignore user abort set whether a client disconnect should abort script execution. When running PHP as a command line script and the script's TTY goes away without the script being terminated, then the script will die the next time it tries to write anything, unless value is set to true. Okay, let's go back. To ease working in the shell environment, a number of constants are defined for IO streams. That's going to be a whole section that I'm going to have a video about. IO streams are basically, you know, how bash commands have an IO stream, it's the same thing there. The CLI SAPI does not change the current directory to the directory of the executed script. Let me demonstrate this. I actually already demonstrated it. Okay, I was in this directory, which actually contains the script. And I ran the script, and it told me that the current working directory because there's a statement in that script which echoes out the current working directory, it told me correctly that my current working directory is user's Samah Labib test. Now, when I changed directories in the shell and ran the script again, the script's location hasn't changed, but what it echoed out changed because I changed my directory. So, the CLI SAPI does not change the current directory to the directory of the executed script, the current working directory, or the current directory, will be whatever directory you are in, not which one the script is in. So if you change the directory that you are in, then it will reflect that in PHP. 
that will be the new current working directory. It won't stay to the directory that was the directory where the script is. Apparently, the CGI version, which is the version that's, that Apache runs, I believe, that one does the opposite thing. The current working directory is always going to be the directory that the script is in. Here it says the CGI SAPI supports this CLI SAPI behavior by means of the C switch when run from the command line. Okay, I guess it is possible to run the CGI SAPI from the command line instead of the CLI SAPI for PHP. They're different executable files. That's it for this video.